In this particular program, I am going to show you how you can use fprintf to read data from the keyboard and then write it onto a file which resides on your hard disk. Or since we are using the online GDB compiler, it's going to be on the cloud, but you can see it on the your online GDB compiler tab. I'll show you how that really works. So let us say I have to write names onto a file. So if I'm using a program to create a file, I need to define a file pointer to the structure of the type file. So FPTR is a pointer to a file type of a structure declared or defined, sorry, declared in stdio.h. Then what I'm going to do here is, let us say I'm going to read names or I'm going to read a name, maximum characters 50 using scanf and I'm going to write it onto a file. So first thing what I need to do here is in order to write something onto a file, I need to first open that file for writing. So let us say the name of the file is uh, fprintf, okay, dot txt. So the name of the file is fprintf dot txt since I am writing onto fprintf dot txt. Since I am using fprintf, I have given the name of the file as fprintf, okay. You can give any name, doesn't really matter. Now, when I open this file, there may be certain problems while trying to create it or open it for writing. Hard disk failure, no space on the disk, whatever the reason, then F open is going to return a null value. So I'm not going to type this null value every time. I'm just going to show it to you, explain it to you now and use it every time. So if there is any error in creating the file for writing, FPTR is going to be null because F open has sent a null value to FPTR. And I'm going to say error on file open for writing and I'm going to return with minus one from main indicating there was certain problem trying to open the file for writing. Now it is quite easy. What I will do is I'll use the do while loop. So what I will do here is I will ask you or let's do it in the loop itself. It's easier. Printf enter first name. Okay. Enter first name. All right, so let's say enter first name and let's give this. Okay, then using scanf, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say scanf percentage yes, I'm going to read a name. Then just what, what I'm doing here using fprintf. Normally, if I use printf, what will I do? I will type the conversion specifier. I'll type like this percentage yes. Then what is the argument? In this case, it is name. But since I'm writing onto a file, my first parameter will be the output stream or the link to the file. The output stream or the link to the file is given by FPTR. FPTR helps me link my program with this file on the disk, generally on the disk, but we are running it on the cloud. So what is going to happen here is whatever is this particular name. Okay, let's put after name, let's put a new line. So it writes one name per line. So using fprintf, Whatever name I enter, let's say I enter Raj. Raj is going to be written on the first line and then an enter. FPTR refers to the name of the file. FPTR helps us link my program with the file on the disk by working with the operating system to see that data from the file is read or transferred from the file to my program or the other way around. Now I'll keep reading and I'll start writing onto a file. How long do I want this to continue? While Okay, I can just stay as long as the length of my input is greater than one character. Okay, I will keep, sorry, string length of name is greater than one. I will keep doing it. So let me explain what I mean by this. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to accept data from the user. So as long as the user is entering some data which is of more than one character, I am able to read that name and write onto a file. Suppose the user enters just Q on one line and presses enter, the length of Q is not going to be greater than one. It's just going to be one. So I will come out of this do while loop and that will be the end of my program. More of that will be clear when we really go ahead and try to test out this program on the online GDB compiler. So let's take this fellow here. Let's paste it here. And let's first try to run this using the online GDB compiler for better explanation. Watch this below F9, the file will be created. Just watch it.
okay okay i have done a couple of problems here i need to for string length i need to include str len dot h so although this file was created i'll delete it now because it's an empty file all right all right so what i will do is i'll include the file string length sorry i'll include the file string dot h okay so now it should be fine string dot h is included because i'm using the function called str len str len gives me the length of name the purpose for string length will be very clear when i complete my demo so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the run to see if it compiles without any warnings and errors never ignore the warnings because later on your program will not be portable and it will give you problems unexpectedly when you are executing enter my name enter the first name let's say our friend arjun is the first then enter the first name again okay let us say i enter rajesh now let us enter one more name we enter the name aruna all right enter one more name let us say we enter the name shweta all right so i have entered four names now now if i decide i i want to stop entering names all that i need to do is first press the enter key and wherever it asks me to enter the first name just type in q or any single character any single character is fine and now if i press enter the length of q is not bigger than 1 so now if you see all the names i entered arjun rajesh aruna shweta including the q got written onto the file and the file was completely successfully written so let me try to explain what i am doing here i have used a pointer to a file type of a structure so that i can associate my file and my program because the file is dealt with by the operating system so i first try to open the file if i am successfully able to open the file for writing this condition will never be true i will forget this i will come out here the reason i am using the do while loop is i can get into the loop without having to write an infinite loop what i can do with do while i can surely do with while i am asking you to enter your first name so whatever name you enter for example you enter arjun arjun is stored in name using f printf i am writing name using the format specifier or conversion specifier percentage s along with the n so it will write arjun like this and it will also add the enter key because of this backslash n and fptr refers to the location of the file on the disk or it associates with the output stream which happens to be your file and now i keep entering all this arun rajesh aruna shweta and so on as long as i am not entering a single character as the name it is going to read that data and dump it onto the file the minute i enter any single character on that line indicating i want to stop if i say q and press enter then this condition will become false so i will come out of the do while loop and i will halt now i will show you one more thing i have used fprintf to write name onto the file i can also write this onto the standard out what is your default standard out your default standard out is your screen so instead of writing onto fprintf now you will see that the output will be shown on the screen itself okay so just watch you will see the output back on the screen see you will see arjun after arjun rajesh after rajesh so what you have to understand the reason i did this is this standard out represents your destination or your source since fprintf can only give outside that means it can write to something i am writing to my standard output device which happens to be the screen or the monitor if i replace this with fptr it will write onto fprintf.txt since i am not writing it into yeah, i am not writing to a file i am displaying it on the screen my source or my stream happens to be the standard out